reside in Austin, Texas, and um, about two years ago I was bitten by a zombie, and currently I am a zombie. I'm just like everybody else, I, uh, well, I, I don't really go outside all that much, I stay inside most of the day, um, to keep me from going crazy, because it kind of gets boring, honestly, uh, everybody gets bored every once in a while, but, uh, to keep from going crazy, I run a uh, pretty successful doggy daycare. Um, we call it Puppy Playdates. I got a puppy here with me right now. Hey, Seymour, come here. You want to c- come show the people you're here? You see, people trust me with their dogs. Um, I'm, I, I wouldn't be running a human daycare because they don't trust me with other humans because there's this uh, misguided representation of zombies, people like me, who go, we go around uh, eating people's brains. That might have been true in the beginning, but we've we've evolved, and people trust me with their dogs, so that's why my uh, doggy daycare has been so successful. Well, uh, I was bit. Let's see. That night, it was only a few months into the zombie apocalypse, so uh, it wasn't really the word of mouth hadn't really spread, but I got bit right there on the arm, and uh, let's say it was a simple night. I was I was still in. Uh, still living up north, and, uh, it's hard to remember that night because, you know, it's, your brain, you turn into a different person. When you become an undead American, like myself, you, you basically become a different person. Your mind alters, and it just changes you. But, what I'm told from what happened that night, I was out riding my bike. I used to be really athletic. I used to just ride up and down the roads. Uh, it was a motorcycle, of course. Apparently, I, what I, from what I can remember, something ran in front of me. I had to lay the bike down, and I slid on the road. I was just coming to, and I remember kind of reaching up, at, hoping for a hand to lift me up, and bam! Somebody bit me. Ah! ah I'm in pain! I'm in pain! Ah! That's basically what happened. And uh, probably about three hours later, I was a zombie, and then a couple months later, this started growing on my face. It's not as bad as people think. It's really quite pleasant. We basically can do everything you guys can do. We just we can't do it with you guys because you guys are afraid of us. We don't want you to be afraid of us. We want you. To, we don't want you to be zombophobic. Well, if I if I do go outside, I, I well I have to take the garbage out. I have to take the dogs for a walk. I mean, I I do run a business here. I can't have them playing around in garbage just in my apartment. This place is far too small for the amount of dogs I have, I take care of. Uh, people just leave their dogs outside uh, attached to my door handle, knock on the door and run away. So I'm fine with that. I, I really don't like people. That's, uh, that's kind of why I stay away from them. Uh, my daily diet. I, do you think I go out and in search of blood and brains and human flesh to munch on? No. I eat regular stuff. I eat. I just had Taco Bell this morning. Although I can safely say Taco Bell is pretty much... It tastes very similar to... I've had human brains in the beginning. It tastes pretty similar. I don't want to get Taco Bell in trouble, but you, you never know. I don't want to say anything anymore. Any more things. I do slip up. I slip up every once in a while. I I am I am a zombie American. I I am a undead American. I I I am slipping to my old habits. You know. I mean to chase. I get the urge to chase people. We're like we're like we're like wild dogs. We have to. 
it's built into our into our systems. We just, it's just into our brains. We we have to get human flesh. I don't. I try not to. I've gone to a few. Um, we have it. It's like Alcoholics Anonymous, but it's a. Uh, it's not for alcoholics. It's for people who are obsessed with uh, human flesh. Well, actually, uh, undead Americans who are obsessed with human flesh. I've gone through the 15 steps. Uh, I can. It's, I haven't had any sort of human flesh in over three months. Now, is that because I, I'm a little, I'm hefty now? Is that because I've been eating human food? And I'm a little, uh, little wider around the waist? I can't really chase anybody? Maybe. I'm not gonna say no to that. That could be possible. That could, it could be a good thing, so. So yeah, I just uh, go outside, walk the dogs at night because, well, nobody's usually out. I don't fall into a relapse and, you know, wanna go chasing after some, uh, some Forget it. Just, just, forget it. Son of a bitch must be a Olympic gymnast here. I don't know. Just let me just cut. The final thing I'd like to say to peop the people is... Uh, now, I, I know you people might see me, uh, whether out on the street or in this documentary, you might be afraid of me, but don't be afraid of me. I want to live my life just like you live your life. I want to go out and I want to have friends. I want to go out to a club. I'm a professional, I'm a very good dancer, but I can't go out because of, people are so afraid of us and they really, if I go out on the dance floor, they'll all run away. I won't be able to get into a dance circle. I will never be in a dance circle. So I'll, I, there's one last thing I want to say. Uh, don't be afraid of me. Don't be afraid of any of us undead Americans. Because we are just like you. I'm you.